Welcome to Multiversatile. My name is Jake Long, and in today's video slash podcast, I want to talk about the X-Men in the MCU. This is a subject that I've talked about before, and the X-Men are some of my favorite characters in Marvel Comics, and some of you like them a lot as well, so I'm probably going to talk about this a lot. Today specifically though, I want to talk about why I think a new version of the X-Men shouldn't come along in the MCU until it's time for a reboot. I think that they should definitely bring back a lot of the Fox X-Men characters slash actors and have them in Secret Wars and maybe other movies such as Deadpool 3, which it appears that that is the plan. And I think that soon after Secret Wars, they should reboot the entire MCU. I'm kind of hoping they do this and the fact that they don't have any announced plans for a new X-Men leads me to believe this as well. Now, as we all know, they do have plans for a new Fantastic Four team and it seems weird that they would introduce this new team and then reboot the whole franchise so I'm a little worried that they might not be rebooting and I know just rebooting seems kind of like a cop-out but at this point we don't have Tony Stark we don't have Steve Rogers we don't have Natasha Romanoff and it just doesn't feel like a complete MCU and if you bring in a new iteration of the X-Men team without them interacting with Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, Natasha Romanoff. It just won't be what I'm looking for as a fan. I think a lot of us, but maybe it's just me. I'm glad that a lot of lesser known characters are getting projects, are getting seen. I think that maybe some of these lesser known characters will be better in an ensemble and with the right story, the right character development, any of these characters can really be successful. But I think the MCU still needs its main Avengers at least, but I think the MCU still needs its main Avengers sometime in the near future. Now I know they'll probably bring back Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, Tony Stark, and, you know, Steve Rogers, Chris Evans, Captain America, Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, maybe, for events like Secret Wars, and I think that'll be really cool. Hugh Jackman is coming back to play Wolverine in Deadpool. Originally, he said he wouldn't come back to play Wolverine after the movie Logan. He did, in an interview, though, say that he would think about coming back if he could act alongside Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark. So I wouldn't be surprised if there has already been talk about that. Maybe Ryan Reynolds was able to talk to Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige was able to talk to Robert Downey Jr. Maybe there's a good chance of that. Hugh Jackman probably just changed his mind for Ryan Reynolds, but I'm sure there is a good chance that Robert Downey Jr. is going to come back. This is the multiverse, so this is the time to do it. But there are so many great interactions in the comic books with characters like Wolverine and Captain America, Wolverine and Iron Man, Cyclops and Captain America. I'm sure there's probably Cyclops and Iron Man. And many, many, many interactions between the X-Men and the Avengers. Many great stories that involve Tony Stark and Captain America and Black Widow. Personally, I will be okay if they do recast the roles eventually. After the Secret Wars, it will be hard to see those two actors go, but I think it's better that we have the characters. Now, personally, with hair and makeup and CGI, I think we can keep those two actors on for the reboot, but maybe that's just me. Since they are bringing in a new Fantastic Four team, I could still see them, I could still see them bringing that team into the new universe after Secret Wars is over. Or at least the new version of Fantastic Four in the reboot will still have the same actors. All of this is kind of a lot to wrap our heads around, but I think it will be best if they wait and bring in a new X-Men when they bring in a new Tony Stark, a new Steve Rogers. And with the first episode of Secret Invasion just having come out last week, more and more I think this is the way to go. We have Secret Invasion that may turn out to be a good series, but in the comics it's really about the heroes being impersonated by scrolls. It doesn't look like we're going to have a lot of that. It still may end up being a good series, entertaining, intriguing, compelling, but I would like to see more of these original comic book stories with 
our main heroes. And of course, I do like the other heroes sprinkled in. Barely got Shang-Chi, which I would like to see him in more stuff. So I'm not exactly sure how they will go about completing this reboot, but if in this new universe they just still have a Shang-Chi, his past might be a little bit altered. They still have Simu playing him, and the same goes for other characters and actors. It just seems like bringing those characters back is the best way to go. Now that might be in 10 years, but maybe they want to do it a little bit before that. If you look over at the DCEU, it looked like they were ready to move on from their Batman and have Batgirl before they really were able to establish a strong superhero movie presence. Of course, they went in a different direction and eventually shelved everything. They're starting over and they're starting over now with a new Superman, a new Batman. So I know this has become about Tony Stark and Steve Rogers, but it's really about bringing in the X-Men to interact with those bigger characters. If they bring in a new X-Men at this point, by the time they bring back Tony Stark and Steve Rogers, it'll be time to reboot everything again. But it will be great to see the Fox actors come back and play the Fox variants as well as other types of variants like Professor Xavier did in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. There's so many possibilities and it would be cool to see other X-Men from Earth 838 maybe looking to get revenge against Scarlet Witch, other things like that. There's so many universes out there and ways to make them different that we can have the X-Men in the MCU without having the new X-Men in the MCU until it is time. When I first heard that it was going to be a little while before the X-Men came into the MCU, I was kind of disappointed. Dark Phoenix had just come out and I was kind of disappointed with that movie. I was ready for a good, really good iteration of X-Men in the MCU. But now that I think about it, the characters themselves were mostly great. The actors were great. Where the characters lacked was mostly the way they were written sometimes, the overall plot of the movies, the execution. So I think that the MCU, Kevin Feige, if he gets really involved, can give those X-Men characters and actors some really good stories in this multiverse saga. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think I'm just crazy? What do you think they should do with the X-Men in the MCU? Thanks for watching and take care.